Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd get in early with a haul video. Yeah, boot sales aren't going yet, but I managed to, through a contact, get a whole load of stuff this morning. So I got masked up, went along with my hand sanitizer and the hazmat, you know, costume. No, not really. Well, I had a mask on. And I've got a whole load of stuff, so I'm going to go through it. Um, what I normally do is bring it all in the house and then um, go through it and it gets left in the house. But I'm going to go through it in the car. My office in the car, why not, eh? So um, there's a lot of it, some gaming bits, some nice electronic bits. Let's put my keys over there. First thing we got is, now I've sold these before. It's a whole box of Coca-Cola glasses. Whole box of them. I've only ever picked them up in sort of ones or twos and bits and bobs. Some of them have the packaging, some of them don't. Um, not a huge value on eBay, but a seller. Yeah, obviously a seller because I've sold it before. So, uh, yeah, that would be nice to get on the store. Um, let's move on to the next one. I'm I'm slowly moving these out of the car as I do this. The logic is it's the best use of my time. But uh, let me move this out and we'll get on to the next one. Yeah, we've got a fair bit to go through. There's about two or three crates and loads and loads of boxes and stuff. But moving on, um, these are sort of just interesting, really. It's obviously some sort of art book. And it's just pictures and pictures of different poses. Uh, this one is different faces. Look at that, classic. And there's three of these. And I remember having a sort of art book like similar to this when I was young. It was sort of how to draw figures and stuff, sort of using circles. But I just think this is fabulous very well, maybe fairly niche but just so interesting and then there's a whole box here of um i think they're resistors uh the different um colored bands on them tell you what sort of resistor they are but these ones each bag has um has it labeled up so yeah i've not got a clue about this how much they'd sell for but another interesting one Something to find out about, which is always a good thing in reselling. You're learning all the time. So, um, you know, if, if these are oh, good money and I ever see a whole batch of them again, I'll know to get them. Got a couple of electronics. This is a, an EOS, um, Canon EOS SLR camera. Um, always like picking these up. Uh, it's got the lens as well. I'll have to check out the lens. I've really got no idea whether it's um, a particularly good lens got a got a case as well just a sort of like third party case um not too sure whether the lens cap is in there i'll have a rummage around later and then there's a nice sony hi8 video camcorder here um i don't know whether it's got the charger feels like it might have not too sure i have to check that one out hopefully it has so i can test it out but again in a in a nice case so this year I'm not buying uh, VHS uh, C cameras. Um, I got a lot of those last year, and uh, a lot of them didn't work. Um, but there's not a great value to that. So um, one to avoid is a VHS C. I haven't bought plush in a while, but um, there were some nice, cute plushies. Uh, Pokemon. I don't know a thing about Pokemon apart from Pikachu and uh, Charizard and Charmander. That's about all I know. But there's a load of Pokemon plush in here. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of price you can get for these. Um, it looks like his eye's going to fall off, but I think he's okay. I think that's a Charmander from memory. Loads of people are into Pokemon cards at the moment. Have been for sort of like the last six months. But um, yeah, kind of too old for Pokemon myself. But we'll, we'll stick these on, see how they go. They look in great condition, so um, I'm sure someone will snaffle those up. This box is full of electronic components. Thankfully, they have got labels on. I think most of them have, or well, they're boxed. Um, there we go, loads of old resistors. No idea, no idea at all on this. Um, but it is quite small and um you know one to find out about what's this phillips there's a fuse and some resistors um used 
not only, but it's, it's just tons of it, really. Uh, I think they're kind of, um, oh, I don't know what they are. I think they're things that make sure that only certain power goes through. I forget what they're called. Don't, it's not a capacitor, it's something else. Volt a regulator, I think they are. But yeah, clueless, clueless of car shorten. Um, but yeah, great that there's so much stuff in there to find out about and get more knowledge on. And it's all quite small, which is quite nice. So yeah, look forward to going through that. This is rather nice, even though it's got a little bit of wear there, but it's um, a nice N N64 bag. Not only a bag, it has, let me open this up carefully. I didn't check this part, well, that's empty, but that's got an N64 in. Fingers crossed it works. It's got the power supply as well. And the cartridge, which is nice. What's this? Bag, bag or something. Not too sure what that is. And not only one N64, if I can do this one-handed, there is another one in here. Like I say, they are untested. Um, I've only ever picked up one N64, well, I had one years ago that I actually bought off someone at work for a fiver, but reselling terms, I've only ever had um, one, which I actually picked up for £2.50 at a jumble sale, which was just like, you know, that's not going to happen every day, is it? Um, here we go, three controllers. That one feels a bit wobbly, but the others feel fine. Um, no power pack on that, but that's fine. I knew there wasn't a power pack. And, yeah, three three Nintendo N64 joysticks, one in green. And this, the arcade joystick. I have, crazily, I've had that before. I think I got it with an Atari. So, yeah, look forward to testing those. Not often you pick up N64s. And definitely, you know, the gamers love the N64, don't you? That is a, a classic console. So, and, and lovely to get this bag as well. I'll give that a bit of a clean up and see if um, I can make that look splish splash. That'd be nice. Not something I pick up every day. It's a Barbie Dolls of the World. And this is the uh, Irish version, I think. Yes, Ireland. Unfortunately, we've just missed St. Patrick's Day. Um, but, uh, dear did hurt. That's how I say hello. Welcome to Ireland. I do apologise for anyone who does speak um irish is it i guess it's irish i don't think it's gaelic i could be completely wrong i don't know what i'm talking about but there we go a barbie barbie doll um got a pair of churchy shoes um made in england brogues i don't think i've ever picked up um churches i have had some good good makes good brands of shoes but never churches um, but any any shoe that is made in England is always kind of and, and you know leather brogue is worth taking a chance on this I absolutely love classic and and new sealed as well polythene has split but it hasn't been opened Original price, three pounds. But I had an annual of the Muppet Show and I think it had that exact same cover. It's just a classic, classic Muppets there. We've got Ralph, Miss Piggy, Scooter and Animal at the back, Fozzie Bear, Kermit Frog, and I think it's Dr. Zoot. And, oh, and Gonzo in the O, of course. So yeah, lovely. I, I don't know if there's much value to it, but it's just fantastic. I think it could be a keeper. Next one's interesting. It's um, two boxes, 12 in each, of um, a Nintendo DS game. Not a hugely sought after game. It's not Pokemon, you know, Diamond version or whatever. Um, but the fact it's sealed, I think, is quite nice. Um, so it could be a bit of a dribbler, but, you know, doesn't uh, take up a lot of room. 
and can just be put on as a multi-listing and easy to pack, easy to get out. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Right, next up is another multiple item. It's um, Maxell data discs, which I think are some sort of like backup discs for PCs. Um, funnily enough, I have had these before, but only once. Um, and there's there's 15 in there. I think there's 20 in the other box. I've got 35 of them. Uh, no idea on how much I sold them for. And I, I from memory, I think I bundled up maybe three tapes, something like that. Uh, it might have been three for a ten or three for a five. I've got no idea. Um, but again, it might be a bit of a slow one, but it's it's a small item that's easy to pack and get out. So uh, quite glad to take that and um, add it to the store. Right, just got this little lot to go through now. whole load of stuff. This is like your, your classic boot fair rummage box here. Um, but it's a lovely uh, Sony video cam, uh, video 8 handy cam. Um, and the good thing about this... I've actually got one of these, but it hasn't got a charger. I've been unable to test it, and I was gonna, was gonna buy a charger off eBay. There's a whole load of, uh, there's a whole load of batteries in here, um, but there are some chargers as well. So fingers crossed, um, I can test my other unit, which would be good. Um, there's a Vanguard light. I'm not too sure if that has any value, um, but this looks, this looks nice. Um, Again, I don't know if it's going to work. I've never had anything like that, but it's a video eight kind of... It says it's um, a video Walkman. There you go. So um, that looks like a nice bit of kit. I've got no idea on value. Um, and I haven't sold a lot of 8mm um, um, video camcorders. Uh, normally the mini DV is, is what I've been selling. That sells quite well. Um, and the rest of this stuff is just kind of like loads of batteries, loads of batteries in here, different sorts of batteries. So that'll be good to go through. I'm looking forward to um, going through that and testing my other unit. I have fingers crossed I'll be able to do that. I think this next one is um, a little bit of a box of misc. If you ever go to the auctions, you'll uh, know quite a lot of times they're boxes of misc, miscellaneous. Um, no idea on this. Olympus normally would be quite a good brand to look out for, but I have no idea what that is. Yeah, real, real box of misc. A towel ring. I didn't even look at. I didn't really look at this. <laughs> I was kind of, I suppose, getting a bit like, yeah, brilliant. I love that, but. Uh, this will be fun to go through. Oh, well, I, perhaps this sold it for me. This this um, solitary Marvel action figure. Uh, who knows? But yeah, there's all sorts in here. Um, all sorts of stuff to go through. I'm not going to dig it all out now. What is that? Is that just some screws, a bit of power supply? Um, yeah, a real box of misc. Is a four in the row down there? A Siemens Landis stuffer thing. A multi-unit controller. Yeah, I may well go through that in a separate video. Um, I probably won't though. Lots of weird stuff. Fantastic. Right, I've made it to the back of the car, which is nice. Um, another bit of a box of misc, actually. Um, a whole load of Karl Marx books. I don't often do a lot of books. Kind of like I've failed on Amazon at books. Um, but we'll see what they go for on eBay. Um, what is this? Is it a game? It looks like a game. Crusader No Remorse. I guess for a by Electronic Arts. I think it might be for PC. Um, a Sony, what looks like a dictaphone. And again, just loads of um, bits and bobs, really. A whole load of bits and bobs. Another box of misc. There's another kind of tape play. Normally the belts have gone on these. Um, what's this? A nice little Deep Space Nine model. I'm sure someone's into 
There's some trickies out there. Oh, this is nice. It's a nice little electronic voice recorder. Um, I think that would maybe be about a tenner, maybe a bit more. So, yeah. Lots of stuff I don't normally deal with. Um, and got some... These last few... There's some nice sort of like die cast bits and bobs in there. So, yeah, let me get rid of this and then I'll go through the rest of it. Not much more left now. Okay, we've got two more crates and um, a box of stuff. Uh, this is, ah, yes, a box of um, electronics, all kind of old Walkmans. Um, there's a nice mini disc player in here. I'm actually trying to sell one of these at the moment. Um, so, my, my one is actually a bit more beat up and doesn't have the battery. Uh, that's got the ah, it's got the remote with it, which is nice. Um, yeah, and I did see another thing that caught my eye when I was looking at this. I think that's a calculator in there. I mean, there's loads like a box Panasonic. That should be interesting. Uh, this little thing caught my eye. Um, it's not a game and watch, but um, still a nice little nineties. Um, piece. No, again, no idea on price. There's some boxed. This is my kind of stuff at boot fairs, really. I really do go for this sort of small electronic. Um, a, lot, a lot of it that I get is, you know, need to repair or, or is broken and I can't fix it. Um, this caught my eye because I used to have one of these back in the day. Sony Sports Walkman. Um, yeah, I think I remember when I bought that. I worked at at boots so i was probably about 17 so it's showing showing my age there and i think they cost about 50 60 quid new might even have been 70 quid new back in the day back in the back in the 1980s there's a nintendo power supply as well always useful to have i've got loads of these but just loads and loads of kind of like walk mini bits to go through obviously the sony's i think will be you know worth uh, good money. I'm not too sure on some of these other ones. Maybe Goodman's not so much, but people still do buy these um, CD Walkmans. Um, if you've got young kids and they've got um, audio books on DVD, that's a sort of ideal thing to um, stick it on, really. Um, but yeah, look forward to going through that. Fantastic. So I only bought this about an hour or two ago. I can't remember what the hell is in it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, right, okay, graphic novels. Loads and loads of graphic novels. Again, I have no idea about this. Oh, and some Russian postcards. Random. Um, yeah, Karma Sutra. Interesting. Uh, some Judge Dredd. Um, yeah. No idea. Some books underneath there as well, I think. So yeah, a good thing. A good quantity of stuff. Oh, there's a weird photo of someone. Interesting. If you are this person, please do get in contact with me. That'd be, uh, that'd be nuts. But it looks like stuff from kind of like, I would say late 80s, early 90s, maybe. But it'd be very interesting to research it. Um, I've bought comics before. Sometimes um, it's not a lot of value, but I might have got a kind of uh, a rare good one in there. Who knows? It, it definitely looks like the sort of more kind of like unique end of, um, of kind of comics. But um, who am I to say? Who knows? But yeah, I'll keep me busy anyway. Whew. I'm so out of breath. Right. Last up, we've got three die-cast models. The Aviation Archive. They're all from the Aviation Archive. 1 to 72 scale. New in box by Corgi. A bit of box wear on them. But yeah, look very nice. Um, don't know idea on price whether it's a very collectible thing. I'm guessing the military plane might be a bit more collectible than a Nimrod, but you never know. The Nimrod, I think they discontinued the Nimrod 
about 15 years ago. And this big box of stuff, it's a whole load of um, die cast from Code 3. Um, and it's more kind of American stuff. It's it? got an American price on there. Um, so whether, the, whether this is collectible, I'm, I'm not too sure, or whether, you know, there's no market for it. But they were new in box. There's a nice one down there. Let's see if I can dig that out. It could well sell to the States. Um, it all seems to be fire engines. Yeah, all fire departments, which uh, I know some people do collect uh, fire engine stuff. Um, and whether I'll actually get US buyers um, trying to buy this stuff, who knows? Um, but that is the lot I have. That is the last box out of the car. Let me flip round. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a kind of like pre boot fair haul experience. And if I do that well at boot fairs every time I go this season, well, I just won't have enough time to list anything or do anything else, I don't think. There's a whole load of stuff I've got there. Um, so I'm going to like get right on it and um, do a bit of research, start sort of like processing it straight away. You know, do what Mr. GUK reseller always says, process it straight away, get it on and done. Don't have it sitting on a shelf. Um, I'm really, really pleased uh, with all that stuff. Thank you so much um, to who bought it off. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, I was getting sort of like relatively low on bits and, you know, just beginning to dig out bits that were broken or missing parts and it was all a bit of a hassle and I've got stuff now that I can just go bosh list let's get it let's get it on and see what it does so I'm really really looking forward to that I hope you enjoyed that if you did enjoy it give us the old thumbs up as always appreciated if you're not subbed um, please do sub you know just usual sort of reselling channel what I get if I you know think of any process type things that might help every reseller I'll let you know you know we can crack that ebay algorithm and know how to do it that'll be fantastic for everyone but for now i'll let you all get on uh take care hope you have a good boot fair haul when we we're back on our first boot fairs i think it's the 18th of april so um a couple of weeks time i think it is two or three weeks time um so good luck everyone with that and take care and i'll see you soon see you later